back. <laughs> Miss Emily Willis, will you please describe yourself to us, Emily? Um, to describe myself, I would say horny, energetic, fun. Um, <laughs> is this a general? silly? Talkative. Talkative. Yes. Awesome. Slutty. <laughs> you like to say slutty, huh? I like the word slut. Why do you like the word slut? It's Tell hot. Me. I like it better than like hoe. Or whore, whore can be cool. Whore Horse can be cool. cool. But <laughs> slut's like perfect. <laughs> I like it. What what happens when somebody calls you a slut? I what does it. it do? It makes me horny. It makes me want to like be more slutty and show them slut and do slut things. What's the sluttiest thing that you think you do? Um, definitely anal. Anal. Yes. How about have sex with strange guys? I actually haven't had sex with a strange guy in a long time. <laughs> but I'm saying for your job, that's pretty slutty. I guess for my job, yeah, that is pretty You know, slutty. you meet them in five minutes and, and then you... And come into my back door. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it makes me like really like just be able to get into sex without anything else, just sex. It's fun. I love it. <laughs> so, speaking of sex, and you're in the porn business, now, what drew you to the business? What drew me to the business? Modeling in general and sex. Like, I think that if I ever did mainstream, I would want to be naked and fucking. Like, I would never want to not be a slut. So, definitely that. <laughs> Now, were you already very uh, expressive and open sexually, privately, before you got in the business? Um, like in your civilian life, were you pretty slutty or were you reserved? Was I pretty slutty or reserved? I was definitely pretty reserved, actually. I was a good girl all throughout high school. And then maybe last year I kind of started to open up and then I was in and... It's, it's there, all so, the way. So when you turned 18, how old yeah, are you now? Yeah, when I turned 18, I'm almost 20, but I'm 19. You're 19. And so when you turned 18, you felt uh, freer to... Yeah, because I was done with high school. I was done with everything. And I had, like, moved out. And so I was hanging out with a lot of older guys. And I was actually only hanging out with guys, so that was fun. And that kind of opened me up a little bit more. Did they get you to do naughty things? Yeah, that was the first time I'd ever hooked up with a girl. And I hooked up with a girl in front of the guy I was dating at the time. And then, like, I thought that was fun. And then I was just hooking up with a lot of the guys. And it was, like, a really, like, knit group, like, tight group. And so I was fucking a lot of the guys, and they all knew I was fucking, like, them. So that was fun. I liked that a lot. Had you ever thought about being with a girl before that experience? I was attracted attracted to girls, but I had never like done anything with a girl. No, was it nervous? Were were you nervous? No, I was super turned on. I loved it. Do you get turned on by people watching you? That's what I. One of the things that I love most about um, porn. Um, is I knowing get, that people are watching you? Is knowing that people are watching me. I get off to knowing that someone else is getting off too. Awesome. Uh, and so what are some of your um, fantasies? What are some of my fantasies? I'm definitely really into like just getting thrown around and manhandled. Do you like to role play? Oh, yeah, I, lo I love role-playing. Um, I've always wanted to um, hook up with, like, a, I like the stepdad hook up, getting caught in trouble and, like, seducing older men. Seducing older men is always super hot. I love that. I love getting to be the aggressor. is always really fun. Like, the one that seduces, 
the partner or being seduced myself. So that's fun. But when I do get to be the one that's like the aggressor and seduces somebody, it's really exciting. I think that that's like one of my turn offs too. Turn ons. <laughs>